Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, happy Thursday. It's still Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you all. Happy midweek to you all. I swear I know what my days of the week are. Um, regardless, hope you're having a great day. Uh, regardless of what day of the week you're watching this on. All right. Absolutely messy intro out of the way. Walt Walls, Lucy are back with brand new music, and that is oh so exciting indeed. We've actually had quite a decent amount of Lucy content in between now and I guess... Uh, I guess technically the last year is The Night Who Can't Die in the Silk Cradle. But like the last album we checked out with Haze and I think it was the, called the, what is it? Um, the Fever album. And then of course before then was Intercoin with Unbelievable and stuff like that. But we've had a decent chunk of Lucy music here and there. M mainly they have been OSTs and special singles and stuff, but that's besides the point. We've had plenty of Lucy music, and we are about to get one more dose of Lucy music. And this one's going to be a little bit bittersweet in a way, because this will be the last one where um, actually, we don't really know what's going to happen with Lucy uh, starting September, because our resident drummer, uh, Mr. Shin Gwangil, is off to do his mandatory service. I think he leaves September 2nd, if I, remember, if I read his um, personal Instagram post correctly. And, you know, I think every single um, fan of a Korean male artist goes through this at some point, but this will be my, f well, I think this will be Lucy's first military hiatus, right? So we'll see what happens. You know, bands have done military hiatuses and have done some really creative stuff, like One Week comes to mind. So, um, you know, I, I don't doubt that Lucy are going to have something prepared for the next couple of years and... I mean, it's Lucy. They're talented enough to where they can, they can, they can flourish with a little bit, even under some adverse conditions. So, either way, we have a title track. We have an album to get through. So let's get through them sharpest, shall we? Here we go. Allow me to take one more moment of your time before we get started with the MV. This is not meant to gloat or anything like that. I did tweet about this yesterday, but let me channel my inner James May for a second. Good news! Um, some of you commented on, gosh, what video was it? Um, it might have been, was it Xenary Heroes? I can't remember which video it was, but Lucy have one more encore stop in Japan, in Yokohama, on the 31st. And after quite a stressful 15 minutes of trying to ticket hunt yesterday, we're in! We have Lucy concert tickets uh, for the 31st. Uh, it's going to be a whole lot of fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. I'll be doing a proper video on that afterwards. I think it's on a weekend or something like that. So I'll spend a Sunday just editing, make, it, make a nice fancy, fancy schmancy video on it. And, um... Yeah, I reckon it's going to be a great time. I mean, it's Lucy. Of course, it's going to be a great time. I reckon some tears will be shed. With the occasion that, you know, f after 48 hours the show, um, Guang Hill is going to be off in the military. So, either way, I'm going to try and enjoy myself. And it'll be local, so. It's just a perfect scenario for me. But, you know what? That's enough waffling for me. New music. Here we go. Wait, I just clocked. We didn't get the band opening. We just got the standard piano one. One song lead vocals? That bass hit into the full release? That's hot. Oh my god, that's gas. Oh. Oh, lighten it up a little bit. Oh, Yo, I'm loving all the Wonsang lead vocals here. 
this is also an extremely busy song. I have to pay attention here. Ow. Weirdly, I think this might be the most Japanese sounding song that they've done recently. I'm not mad at it though, I love it. It's so energetic. That pause into the full release is just gas. There he is. Hello, Mr. Guangyu. It's a... I was about to say, it's amazing how soft this verse is, but then the gas comes in. That one moment of pause before the chorus release is spectacular. <laughs> Much ones on lead in this. Can we, can we get some Yechan vocals in this? Is that too much to ask? Like we've got a lot of vocals going, but can we get all four? Cool offset. Using Guangyu's voice on the really vocally isolated sections is so smart, so big brain. Slow lead in. God, this song is high too. And all the arrows turned into flowers. Wow. That's terrific. Oh my goodness. Off first listen. This is probably my favorite recent release from Lucy since Unbelievable. And admittedly, you know, Unbelievable isn't that long ago. It's only last year, right? But, you know, with Haze and uh, the Silk Cradle and Night or whatever the name of that title was, all the OSTs that have dropped. Villain? Oh, I guess I keep forgetting Boogeyman exists too, but. Villain is gas like this song is crazy good oh my i mean the energy is ridiculously good and as i mentioned right at the beginning it's very j-rocky which works for me it really does work for me it kind of oh who is it it kind of reminds me of um I can't even remember what the name of the artist is anymore. Oh god, you know what? We'll, we'll let that thought slide because we're listening to this again. I don't care. We're going again. First of all, not having the band intro on a... You know, the band version of the Mystic intro on a Lucy song. I, I'm like so used to listening to it that whenever we don't get it, it's like... Wait a minute, what's happening here? But that aside... Like that, this opening 
from Sir Wonsung here on, you know, what did I call him in the unthink unbelievable video? I forget, but I don't think I've ever heard as much of a J-Rock sounding voice come from anyone in the Korean music scene on the male side of things. On the female side of things, there's a there's a YouTuber slash musician slash artist named Daon who made you know made her platform doing anime covers on YouTube and she does a terrific like J-pop J-rock voice, you know, like anime OST voice. I've never heard anyone from the male side of the industry do that J-rock J-pop like anime sound like vocally as much justice as one song does here on this intro. This is ridiculous. Also, prepare for this to be about 25 minutes long and just, just, it might not be, but prepare for it to be that long. But one song goes off on this song. That head voice flip? That head voice hit? Oh my. And that, the way the intro finishes, got Yechan on the violin just getting higher and higher, Gwangil's drum fills are getting faster and faster, and then boom, everything cuts out. But when the song kick starts again, you have that huge slap slide from one song, all the instruments coming in. And then it's straight gas, just a high octane go, go, go. And those are some spicy chords to start this first verse. Like those are those are not your standard pop song chords. Those are tasty indeed. Lots of spices and herbs going on with that one. Anyways. So we had that very big, very gas intro to start the song, and now we're taking a little bit of a step back. But even though we're taking a little bit of a step back, we've got someone who normally is in charge of like the really punchy high vocals in Mr. Sangyo. But he's also, you know, taking a little bit of a step back, letting the song cruise a little bit, and it's nice. It's really nice. And I like the fact that it's actually quite a treble loaded way to start the song. You don't really get a prominent bass section yet, but it makes the song nice and light, and you don't really feel the heavy impact of the drum section either. It's just nice and light, and it's free flowing almost. Because it allows for the song to slowly evolve and slowly gain traction, like we're going to see here. We got movement in the bass. This song does the hold and release so well. Essentially, every single transition point has that element of hold on to that, you know, hold on to the energy of the song and then let it go a second afterwards. And it's so nice. And the song, I mean, this is Lucy we're talking about here. They are, the quality of the composition and the details of the composition in, in their music is always of the utmost quality, and this villain is absolutely no exception to that. Everything is done with a purpose, everything is done so smartly. And it's so effective because of it. Give me that release again. It's like they bottle it up, close the cap, and then let it go. And that is the high yop vocals, right? And again, it's that hold release element again. It's that hold and release. You get the really high punchy sung up vocals. And then he goes breathy, light head voice as the song slowly dissipates away, cuts away, and then boom, we're into phase three of the song. And it's it's that over and over and over again. 
And of course, this being Lucy, it's not lead guitar, it's lead violin, a la Mr. Shin Yechan. And the way they're treating verse 2 now with Mr. Gwangil taking lead on vocals. It's not a treble heavy, very gentle instrumental part now. We've got the bass end taking the prominent side, letting Gwangil's vocals almost pop a little bit more, or in a different way. His tone has a naturally, you know, softer, kind of fuzzier texture to it. So having more treble loaded instruments around him drowns out his voice more. So instead, they prioritize the bottom end, the rhythm, and they add some little chime fills and stuff, add a little bit of like a digital glitchy boopity boppy thing going on in the background. And it changes the sensation of that second verse. It allows for Guangyo's vocals to pop and it m gives the entire song this kind of fresh take because it's new, it's soft, but it's a completely different kind of new and soft from verse one. Big brains again. And until the kind of drums kick in on the last like two or four measures there, when Sang Yop comes in on the vocals, because he's got that naturally sharper vocal tone, even though his voice is, I, I'd say him and Guang Yop cover similar ranges. I mean, Sang Yop has the ability to go way into the stratosphere, but I'd say their comfortable ranges, there's a decent amount of overlap between them. And even though that is the case, when Sang Yop comes in, they're naturally able to use more of the, what do you call it, more of the treble instruments because his voice won't dr be drowned out as much as Guangyil's would have been. It's all big brain plays, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. The Holden release is unbelievable. Honestly, it's probably, composition-wise, my favorite Lucy song they've done. Because it's so smart. Everything is so detailed. Now, treat the song. Bridge is phase four of this song now. We had intro, verse one, verse two, and the bridge. We are in phase four of this song. This song has once again taken a completely different turn. The instrumental section is entirely different. It's almost as if we've had a mid-song genre switch, but we haven't. It's that stylistically different. But it still feels like one cohesive package. And we get lead one song vocals again, like hell yes. <laughs> And I love the different texture of it, too. That is a cool way of doing a little ABAB -A -B action within a little section of the song. Instead of just changing the voices, just change everything. <laughs> they really took Sangyop sections in that ABAB section for the latter half of the bridge and went, let's just do, let's just change, ev let's just, you know, move all the sliders, turn all the knobs, add all the filters. And it's, you know what, if they're making a contrast, they've certainly made a contrast on it, haven't they? Guangyil coming in, soft vocals, show off the fact that he's got that very charming, kind of breathy, fuzzy voice. Instrumentations don't really have a big prominent role here. Guangyil's voice is the prominent role now, and kind of like considering this is his last era for a little while, I think it's such a fitting thing to, for, that, for him to have that vocal moment. It's so important, I think. Like, you know, for him, but for the fans as well. I'm gonna run out of fingers. Big brain. Slowly evolve the sound. 
Take away the digital filter. Add the instruments back in. And we're back. Even that moment there, as we go into the outro, very short, brief moment of a pause. Then it all just kind of resets back to the beginning. Oh, oh, that's so good. They're so good. Okay, thank you all for bearing with me as we have well and truly surpassed the 20 minute mark on 1MV and that is a brand new record here on the channel, so give yourselves a round of applause if you made it this far. Um, but this was 100% worth it. You know what, my room is currently 30 degrees with the AC on, it's very toasty. I am slightly sweaty, um, maybe TMI, but I don't care. This song was so worth it. It's so good. It's... I, look... I expect very high quality music from Lucy at this point, but this surpasses any level of expectation I had coming into this release. And you know, when it comes to K-Vents, I'm always going to have a great time. I thoroughly enjoyed myself with this. This is terrific fun. And it's Lucy. The music was always going to be great. It was always going to be smartly written. It was always going to be high quality. But this is a different side of Lucy that I don't think even the most passionate of Wall Walls could have seen coming. Whoa! And, I say this a lot, but if the title track is this good, how good are the B-sides going to be? Knowing Lucy, I reckon, a very good indeed. Only one way to find out though, I am going to go queue up the rest of the album so keep your eyes peeled for that if it isn't out already but in the meantime that is going to be it from me on the mv thank you all for watching along with me hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did and lord knows i enjoyed that one a whole lot but one last request from me today let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world whether it be you know checking with your friends and family holding the door open for somebody or even picking up a piece of trash off the street just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day and know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy and they don't know who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.